Welcome back guys to another game, a new game for me, it's called Stick It To The Man And we're gonna get right into it So yeah, chapter one, a heart Final frontier, that's what it's called, right? It's beautiful, endless Uh-huh Feel the warmth of the sun millions of kilometers away on my skin without any atmosphere to stand between us mm -hmm. The upside is it's a truly amazing feeling the downside is I'm truly about to die. <laughs> what I guess I die floating alone in space. You know, I mean, until now, I'd never been any higher up than the top floor of my apartment building, and I only went up there once. My mistake. It all started yesterday. Ordinary day like, uh, like any other. It is un until I got hit on the head. <laughs> Well, poor you. Jeez, oh, that was a three-star impact, Wally. Uh, this one needs some work. Three stars? You sure, Ray? R and D insists that this one be a one-star hot hat. One and a half tops. That's some quality hot hats you're testing. You want to trade spots and see for yourself? Three stars. Didn't notice any birds flying around my head, though. Uh, that's something. All right, this one's next. It's a new material R&D wants to try. It says here it's based mostly on recycled banana peels and used juice boxes. Uh, no. Saved by the bell, huh? Oh, see you tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> Dude. Game art directed Klaus, whoever that one is. Hard tested. No experience required. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. <laughs> I should have jumped. Thanks. It was a good idea, but now it's a bad idea. As you know, it's really freaking bad. We just got three. This is Gamma 3. We've encountered storm systems too large to go around without delaying landing time. Uh, please advise. Gamma 3? Sean, you told me your name was Jimmy. <laughs> oh, his name was Jimmy, now it's Gamma 3, so you got to deal with it. Mr. Copy? Alright. Hello, heavy old man. What do you show? Somehow I always forget how much jumping is required to get to and from work. A lot. A lot. Like really freaking a lot. Hello there. Well, I guess I want to talk to you. Gamma 3 calling base. Please respond. Base storm now intensifying beyond safety thresholds. Uh, unusually intense lightning activity observed. Attempting to abort. Uh, emergency support requested. Wow. Plane made out of paper can't take the heat, huh? Or even a little rain? I bet those eggheads you thought up a paper airplane was a great idea because it wouldn't be detected by enemy radar. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty smart right now. <laughs> Tell me you didn't get him to redesign our parachutes too. Well, how's it going? Bad for you, little guy. Lightning now at level five alert. The Omega level package is in danger. Repeat, the Omega level package. Son, I appreciate your concern, but my package isn't. <laughs> well. This is gonna be bad. For real. Dude! <laughs> Stop! Ouch. Five stars. Hello there, whatever you are. Can I move? It's not. Uh, you're getting too close, mate. You're getting way too close. What Become a dream. Where am I? What's this spaghetti arm doing sticking out of my head? Okay, stay calm, Ray. Last thing I remember was leaving work and jumping a lot. And then getting it 
on the head. Of course. Uh, the hand growing out of my head and this whole crazy world is all a dream. Yep. Well, I can't use it. Hey, a bottle. Nice work, me. If I know my subconscious. Yeah, you do. High five me, Ray. High five me, Ray. I give the best high fives, Ray. <laughs> that means dead. Ray, you may think you know high fives, but you haven't experienced a high five until you've high five me. Please, please, crazy pin creep. <laughs> One at a time. I'll high five all of you, I promise. Why not, right? Might as well use this crazy hand for something. And this looks like it'll be fun. Huh. High five me, Ray. High five me, Ray. <laughs> Whoa, this arm is awesome. Yeah, it is. Hi, bye, me, Ray. <laughs> yeah. Hi, bye, me, Ray. Ah, oh, I'm almost sorry. I'll have to wake up from this. <laughs> hi, bye, me, Ray. You gotta be freaking sorry. This is awesome. Huh. This is freakishly awesome, dude. Uh. A cork is a useful thing if you wanna keep one. If you wanna keep one, yeah. Is a useful thing if you want to keep water from getting in. And to what? I really should listen. A cork is a useful thing if you want to keep water from getting into something. Yeah, nice. A cork is a useful thing if you want to keep water from. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do over there. Well, a cork is a useful thing if you want to. No, let me that. <laughs> well, why am I not waiting? It's not really that hard to wait a little bit, you know? A cork is a useful thing if you want to keep water from getting in this... Something. Yes. A cork is a useful thing if you want to keep water from getting into something. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not sure... A cork is a... A cork is a useful... Can I? Okay, you know, push your sentence. Thing if you want to keep water from getting into something. Uh huh. Again, I'm not sure why I'm reminding myself of these things. You know what corks are, Ray? You got this. <laughs> Good. Hey, cool. A giant robot. Yeah. Hey, these colossal fingers look familiar. What fingers were? That's not you! For sure. Yeah, but f oh. Okay. So my head is flooded with elephant juice. And inside are a bunch of gears that aren't moving. Which probably means I'm knocked out and I need to drain the water from my brain. Uh huh. Got it. Help! Help! I can't hold my <laughs> breath forever! <laughs> And there's a creature swimming around in my head. Not sure what to make of that one, honestly. Uh, can you uh, hear me, little guy? Help! Help! I can't hold my breath forever! Huh. Apparently not. Oh well, that's alright. A pink elephant 
pouring water through a hole in my head. Uh huh. Hmm. I didn't bring my dream symbolism app with me, but I'm guessing this means I'm a confident, handsome man that everybody loves. <laughs> Probably, right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, maybe it was that guy. I ain't gonna stop doing that. Uh, what are we doing exactly? Hey, a sticker of a tap. I wonder if it's scratch and sniff. It is. And it smells like a sticker. Neat. Nice. Oh, a tap is a useful thing if you want to send water out of something. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm reminding myself of this. I know what a tap is, me. Good. There. I saved you, crazy alien creature thing. <laughs> All right, that's good. Finally cool. dry at last. But the controls don't work. I need power. If only there was a way to get that heart working again. Ah, uh, leave that to me. Where's the heart, by the way? Hello there. Come here, heart. Heart, come here, girl. I miss you. Weird. My girlfriend lives in Robot Me's heart. And she's calling for a dog named Heart. Dreams are crazy. <laughs> oh well, at least I'm not back in high school and also naked in this one. Again. <laughs> and this game is awesome. That one thing is for freaking sure. What do we have over here? Hello there. Oh, hey there, little guy. Uh, you're Hart, Arlene's dream dog, aren't you? How's it going, Hart? Oh, there's a good girl. <laughs> you just look like a freaking butt, though. Can I get it, please? Guess not. Oh. Nice. Ahoy, matey! Greetings! I be Redbeard the Scary. I'll have you know that back in my day, I was the most feared pirate on all the seven seas. Bad news, buddy. You're just a figment of my imagination. And this is all a dream. You? I. It occurs to me that in real life, skeletons don't talk. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> old sea dog of fear? <sighs> dream me back to life again. Well, I, I kind of need to lead this dog back to my girlfriend. You've got an arm made of bone, so... I hear you, landlubber. Well, I'd be happy to... Lend a hand. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, he just realized how well lend a hand worked back there. That wasn't even on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this would be cool. A bony hand. It's definitely not suspicious to be carrying this around. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> Are you really sure about that? Because I'm not one freaking bit. Hard. Come. Come to boy. Over here to the boy, come on. <laughs> oh god. Hart, you came back. What a good girl. Who's a good girl? It's you, Hart. You're the best girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love you, Hart. I always knew Eileen was the woman of my dreams. But it's nice to have it confirmed. <laughs> All the pieces are in place. <laughs> oh, God. I was just about to leave. Now I think I'll stay after all. Yes. 
I'll be able to stay here indefinitely. As long as the host survive. Wait. What? Wait, what? Uh, what's going on? Hello? <laughs> Sir, there's been an incident. An incident? Uh, a crash, sir. And the subject is... missing. Why are you coming to me for instructions? Obviously, I'm going to tell you to find it. It's the most powerful weapon in the universe. Spaghetti! There's spaghetti in my... my head! You think? <laughs> wow! What a crazy dream! Oh, good thing dreams are stupid and don't mean anything! You're awake! Perfect. That'll be a lot easier than carrying you out. Huh? What will be easier than carrying me out? There. Get out! What? Your insurance doesn't cover head injuries, mister. Get out! What? Head injury? What? What happened to my head? Hey, hey, quit shoving! Oh, will you just tell me what happened to my head? Hey, 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 easy on the buns! <laughs> oh. This ain't freaking nice. Well, you are one lucky guy. God, this Not. bandage is all kinds of itchy. I should just tell it to him straight. Oh, this can't be happening. Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> Careful! I'm so shiny. So shiny. Holy crap. What the hell? Okay. Okay. I'm hallucinating. Arms don't grow out of heads. I just gotta get home and sleep this off. It's all a hallucination, that, that's all. It's uh, just a hallucination that lets me... Re hey, listen, do me a favor. I kinda didn't think this through. Obviously. And I left the handbrake on in the car. Can you disengage it for me? Uh, actually, maybe you can do me a favor instead. I'm looking for a cab ride home and... I got my own problems here. Problems I do not want to talk about. Listen, thanks for nothing. I'm just gonna wait here till somebody else comes and disengages my car. Peace! Maybe... Uh, maybe I can use my hallucination brain arm to read his mind and find out what his problem is. I, I don't know. Let's do that. Oh, Barbara, if only you hadn't left me for that mafia down with the mad nutty smile. If only my own smile had that sparkle that drives you wild. If only I could take back years of poor dental hygiene. If only I could have you back. Well, Barbara, if I I gotta find a way to help this dude get his lady friend back. But I don't want to. Burger place. Keep it up, Barbara. We'll win this competition for sure. Especially since my biggest challenger had an unfortunate accident. What? Huh? What was that? Sorry, I was kind of lost in your teeth there. I just love your smile, Don. Uh, Don's my position, not my n uh, You know what, uh, Don's fine. Honey, I don't care what you're called, as long as you keep showing me those sparkly teeth. <laughs> oh god, this is... Nobody talk to me Hey! Ed, where are you? We've been practicing for weeks, <coughs> and you promised you wouldn't stand me up. Don't do this to me, Eddie. Beautiful. I am an adult human, and my major criteria in selecting a mate is how shiny their teeth are. I may have made some bad decisions somewhere. However, on the other hand... Ooh, shiny teeth. Lighter. 
You are freaking weird, dude. So weird. Why do you love your teeth? Say that murdering a man to win a dance competition is sociopathic. Obviously. But is it really sociopathic to only see people as obstacles to be overcome by any means possible? Uh, Wait. maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe that's actually the textbook symptom of sociopathy. Oh well. Too late now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's too freaking late. <laughs> yeah, I choked on freaking nothing. That's how bad it is. Something with my map. Oh, we have a map. Nice. Oh, hold up. There was something I missed. Can't stop this dance train. Is that all? It's a might Can't stop this dance train. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> I can't wait to eat all this chicken myself. Unless my good friend Bitey comes and eats it first. He never beat the poor Bitey. All alone and lost in the sewer. Nobody to tuck him in at night. Nobody to give him his belly rubs and his teeth scratches. But he's such a gentle soul. He needs me to take care of him. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. I'm nature's greatest predator, buddy. And I'm tired of Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> I got a taste for special treats. And I ain't coming out for anything except human limbs, baby. Delicious human limbs, <laughs> so long and crunchy, so full of valuable vitamins and minerals. Dude! <laughs> wow. Can I? How do I grab it? How do I grab once again? I don't know. Hello there. Ah. Uh, well, all right. No one said that. Should I? Wow. Oh, all right. The food is almost ready, but it needs one more spice. But what? Chicken. Something that tastes of despair. Something that is condensed, liquefied sorrow. Chicken. Where can I find this ingredient? I don't know. You just like... Oh, what a kind and noble heart here breaks. This can't be real, can it? I thought we'd be together forever. Forever! Oh, I can't believe our relationship is over. <laughs> I would hate to see him hurt, but it had to be done. Right? It had to be done. Breakups suck, but I still care for him. I just wish everything didn't have to be so sucky. <laughs> Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, nice. A big old puddle of salty tears. I should definitely carry these around. Here we go. <laughs> ah, la ingredient parfait. This meal, it is. <laughs> Perfection! Perfection! You can really taste this sorrow. No, I'm gonna take that. A cooked zombie arm, oh, which I am told is perfectly seasoned. If I ate this, it would be cannibalism. So, I probably shouldn't eat this, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe you should not. But you can. Unless my good friend Bitey comes.
comes and eats it first. Spidey, you came back. Come on, let me hug you for a bit. <laughs> Laura and the kids will be ecstatic to see you again. They may show oh, it God. Up, screaming at us and running away, but that's just their way. Oh, what? Mouth of a crocodile. Ain't anything scary. Imagine a spider with these teeth. Those spiders are already scary. And... Oh, okay. Imagine a puppy with these teeth. That would be pretty scary. I feel empty inside. Inside my mouth, anyway. I just don't understand wives and children like I understand crocodiles. Lady, what? <laughs> you don't judge me for coming home with chicken blood on me and smelling like I've literally been standing in a sewer for hours. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 I got an idea. Come on, get up. I am an adult. No, uh... Maybe not yet. I'm gonna go check what's up else. There's like more stuff over there in this area. You can go check the all out. So let's do that. Mario. You should grab put and select. As soon as little Mario could walk, he'd be over every day to say hi to Beatrice. And he, and he was always so excited to see him. He'd bark and bark and bark. Just, just endless, frantic barking from Beatrice. <laughs> yes, Dude, this game is awesome. I never forget a smell. Those are the jerks that tortured me every day when I was a puppy. They tied firecrackers to my tail. Oh, wow. Darn it. I'd eat them alive if only I had my teeth. I need teeth, darn it. And? Oh, gosh. Who are you? Rachel's gonna kill me if I don't make it to the disco competition on time. Only she won't. Because I'll already be dead. Because these guys are gonna kill me real soon. This is it, Ed. You're going to be dead soon, and you never went skydiving. You never ate caviar, and you never beat the Silver Surfer game for the NES. <laughs> You're gonna die with regrets, Edo. Oh, if only I'd spent more time learning how to escape from trunks instead of learning the enemy attack patterns in the Silver Surfer for the NES. Although, honestly, I'm glad I spent so much time playing Silver Surfer for the NES. That game was tight. <laughs> Tickets online. Cool. It's good to be the big brother. <laughs> the medical school for this. Here you go, here's your teeth. Go, get them. Beatrice is that the Beatrice, where did you get those teeth? Good doggy, good doggy. Carry me, Luigi. Carry me, Luigi. Come by any time, boys. Such nice boys. You think? Oh, wait, get me that. Oh, hold up, hold up, that's cool. Let's save this one. Oh gosh! Oh, Trump! How do I save him? I don't know, let's go back. See what we can do. I can't go up, obviously. Oh. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what to do over there. Oh! Oh, hi! Can you see this place? Didn't see it. Oh well. We do now. I'm not sure this fits in with science, but I am sure 
I have a sticker of a hole in my pocket. Handy if I need to make a hole in something and want to make a mockery of physics at the same time. Let's go do that. Can I get down? Oh yeah, you can. Here you are. Nice. And it's not too late for the competition. How can I ever say thanks? Well, I, I could use a drive. I got it. I'll dance for you, and then we can talk about Silver Surfer. Uh, for the NES? Aw, oh, man, I really want to talk about this, but I'm late. <laughs> Ed, you made it! Where were you? Locked in a trunk, but this stranger wandered in and helped me out. Oh, it's been a good day for that, I think. Let's dance. An amazing set. First place goes to Rachel and Ed for their routine, Rachel's Education in Dance. This is an outrage. I paid good money to ensure my victory. Ah, I'm so angry, I could swallow my teeth. I could literally swallow my teeth. Ouch, dude. I'll save you, Don. I'll save you, Don's teeth. Dude. This is disgust disgusting. Ed, buddy, it's been a long, strange day. But you ended it in a crazy dance scene. So I think things worked out pretty okay. For you, yeah. It's time to shake my bod and chew gum. And actually, I'd much prefer to shake my bod than chew gum. So this is working out well. <laughs> Good for you. My mouth feels lighter. Like there's there's fewer teeth in it somehow. My mouth. Don, Don's actually kind of gross. <laughs> really old. Really old. <laughs> Obviously. And I've got nothing in common with him. He's lost that sparkle somehow. Common with him. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Here we go, here's your teeth. These teeth are so sparkly. They feel good. You don't want to know where they were. They feel right. What am I doing here? I need to go show Barbara. Good for you. Barbara, <laughs> I'm back. And I got a mouthful to say to you. Bernie, is that you? You're so sparkly. Oh, Bernie, where did we go wrong? We didn't, Barbara. Just forget it. Everything up to now is non-canon. Canonicity starts right <laughs> now. Hey, That's thanks cool. for the ride home, Bernie. Thanks for reminding me what's really important. Teeth? Love. Sparkly teeth. Teeth. This is what's really important. Uh, where am I at exactly? Okay, somewhere I have no clue where. Finally, just a few jumps away from home, where I can put all these hallucinatory spaghetti arms, oddly accurate mind reading behind them. Uh, yeah. Let's go do that. Wait. Oh, well, I think I missed something. Oh well. I didn't see the cat. Aline, I'm home. I've had the craziest day, honey. Uh, check it out. Think of a number between negative gazillion and infinity plus three. Bet you fifty bucks I can read your mind. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Aline. I know that the arm sticking out of my head looks weird. The what? Uh, the arm sticking out of my head. Uh, I know it looks weird, uh, but There's it... no arm sticking out of your head. Ray, are you going nuts on me? Are you dropping insanity balls on the floor? No, I... Oh, I don't think so. You really can't see it? Sweetie, why don't you go see my shrink? Dr. Egglesworth helped me a lot. I'm not afraid of grapes anymore, see? Yeah, wait, what? Please. Grapes? Maybe I am crazy. I guess it wouldn't hurt to see Dr. Egglesworth. I believe his office is over here, uh, to the right. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, that's a huge... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode with you guys. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider liking it and subscribing. I'll see you guys next time with a new episode. Oh wow! There are tons of stuff over here, aren't there? Let's see you guys next time with a new episode. Take care, everyone, and yeah, see ya next time. Ciao!